All right, I'd like to walk you through going through this cost, revenue, profit spreadsheet um, and how we can use some slightly new functions and, and modify some functions that we've used before in the past. Um, so let's go ahead and just start with cost. Um, if I want to figure out the cost of something, right, if I know it costs $3.50 per unit and I bought 50 units, and in this case we're talking about crew neck shirts, well, to figure out the total cost then, I'm doing 350 times 50. That would give me my total cost here. So um, there is a multiple, multiply function in Sheets, but I don't like to use it. If I just hit equal sign, um, the, the one I like to use is the one that pops up right away, and that's the one with an asterisk. That's like Google Sheets way of saying multiplication. Okay, And it's just doing B5 times C5, which is that one times that one. Okay, That's what I want. So that right there costs $175, and I can go ahead and click the box and then drag the little blue dot in the corner down and there's my total cost for all of those shirts right there. Let's go ahead and get uh, a total for how many things and, and a total total. Okay, um, Here we're going to use our old friend the sum function. So I'll just say okay all those of course that equals 250 and then this one here our total cost so far with all the shirts we bought was uh, $1,498. Right, so that was pretty simple. Uh, the newest thing was this multiplication. Right, we're going to use that in the future, and we can do all the the basic addition, subtraction, division, all that stuff. All right. Um, next, current sales. So uh, we have all these things. We, I just want to know how many total shirts were sold. Okay, so again, we're going to use sum, um, and just to walk you through how sum works, if it doesn't autofill. If you type your parentheses and then you select the stuff you want to add together and just hit enter, right? There's our total uh, for how many shirts we sold. All right. Now looking at profit down here, uh, this one, this this box has a lot more stuff going on to it. All right. So we're going to copy and paste some stuff from the top. Uh, so total units purchased, right? We can get all of these. So there's 50 of each of those. And for our cost, we can take this here and paste that down here. Now, here's the problem that we run into. I copied this stuff, um, but I'm copying what is a reference to stuff, right? It's referencing these certain values. And you can see, if I look at what these ones are referencing, right, it changed. It, it uh, adjusted to where I copy and pasted it. It's, it's, it's multiplying the two things before it. So in this case, it's multiplying crew neck times 50. And it's expecting to get a number, and that doesn't make sense. How do you have, it doesn't know what to do with that. Okay, so instead of just copying and pasting like that, what I want to do is I want to just take the formula, and I'll paste the formula here. Right, so this cell is now referencing whatever this times this is. Okay, and I can drag that down. And so it gave me the same thing as copy and pasting, but it will automatically update. And again, if I if I suddenly bought you know a hundred of these shirts, this one updates and that one updates. So again, a, another benefit of using functions instead of just copying and pasting data is that it will automatically update itself. All right, for units sold, that one we can get from over here. I'm gonna Control C and Control. If I do Control Shift V, it'll just paste the the numbers. Control V will paste the, the weird black lines. I don't want those, so I'll do it that way. All right, um, so our sale price is $20. If we're selling nine shirts for $20, our revenue is the money we're bringing in from that. So we're gonna multiply nine times 20 to give our revenue. So in this case, it didn't give me an autofill, so I will do it manually. I'll click this one. I'll then do an asterisk. And then I'll do that one. Enter. All right, I'm not going to autofill this time. I will just manually drag it. Okay, I don't want to do the last one. Okay, so there's our revenue. That's the again the money we're bringing in. All right, if we sell this many shirts for that price, that's the money we bring in. Um, profit. Now to get profit, we have to say, all right, if this is the money we brought in, but it cost us this amount, well, we're only really making $5 in this first case. All right, it, 
we brought in 180, but it cost us 175 to buy all the shirts, right? We only made $5 profit, okay? So yeah, I could figure that out, but again, we wanna use formulas to, to do all the work for us. So I'll do a different one this time. I'm gonna do just a subtraction. I'll hit equals. I'm gonna do my revenue minus the cost and hit enter. Again, I don't wanna autofill yet. I will just autofill it myself. All right, there we go. And then uh, remaining, this is for how many shirts are remaining. So this one, again, I'll use an equal sign. I'll say, well, we had 50 and we sold nine. So I did 50 minus nine or, or B14 minus D14. Okay, enter, done. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna do my own kinda functions here. I could just sum this up, the revenue here, uh, which I guess is what I will do. I'll just use the one in auto filled. Okay. Um, for profit, I also will use a sum function. All right. And there's the sad reality. Um, unfortunately, I bought so many shirts that really didn't sell, like these sweatshirts that were super expensive. So I eat it into my profits and I only end up making $88 in this fundraiser, okay? And then remaining, so if I had 250, let's see where, yeah, 250 shirts and I sold only 68, right? I just need to do some more simple uh, subtraction. So I'm gonna do this 250 minus the 68 and give me that. And there you go, there's 182 uh, shirts remaining. So I'm sitting on 182 shirts that now are, are eating away at my profits. All right. And then finishing up, just maybe to make all the data stand out maybe a little bit better, um, just moving it from over here to over here in one nice little area. So our total cost was up here. So I'll just say equals this thing, enter. And you know, again, if I update this one up here, or let's see, I'll make it huge. Let's make it 500 instead of 50, okay? Well, that's gonna update, that's gonna update, and that's gonna update. All right, that's the benefit of all this stuff. They're all linked together. Uh, revenue was this. And profit was this. I'll just make those line up nicely. All right, and there we go.